how to make my spooky ghost cupcakes with a chocolate cupcake and Italian meringue topping. Absolutely spooktacular. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel where today we're still going on the spooky theme where I thought I'd make my ghost cupcakes. So these are a cute little treat for Halloween with just a little bit of fun and as you can see from like the clips like they are more cute ghosts than anything else. They're not particularly spooky at all but they taste delicious and these cupcakes are going to be something you can do with your kids like you're going to have to help them with meringue but honestly the piping it's all fun so you're going to love this cupcake recipe as much as I do. So let's get baking my spooky ghost cupcakes. So for these cupcakes I'm doing a chocolate sponge. So with any sponge recipe I always start off with the butter. I tend to use a baking spread, just any supermarket owned one, but you can use a block butter if you want or a margarine for the cupcake mix as it helps keep the sponge nice and moist. But this one, supermarket owned baking spread. Because these are a chocolate cupcake mix, I've got my light brown soft sugar because I love the flavour it brings. But you can use a golden caster sugar or a white caster sugar if you want instead. To make them chocolate, obviously, I have some cocoa powder. This is 100% cocoa powder, so it's really, really strong. But any cocoa powder will work. Of course, cupcakes, we have eggs. So the ratios are always the same with my cupcakes. So I've got three medium eggs here. If you're going to use large eggs, you'd have to increase your other ingredients, such as the sugar, butter and flour by about 20 grams. And then finally, some self-raising flour. I always use self-raising flour, but if you want to use plain flour, you can check out some notes below on how to make your own. So to start, I'm just going to add my butter to my bowl. And then I'm going to add my light brown soft sugar. And then we're going to mix these together until combined. Then I'm going to add in my eggs. Then I'm going to add in my cocoa powder. So now my cupcake mix is ready. I've grabbed my cupcake cases. When it comes to cupcake cases, I, there's quite a varying difference depending on where you buy them from. So mine are more what I would call muffin size from the supermarket. I will link these in the description box because I buy most of mine online because I find them a lot cheaper and better. But if you were gonna buy them from a supermarket, fairy cases, cupcake cases are usually quite a lot smaller. You need bigger ones so you can split all your mix evenly between 12. And because we're going spooky, I have some black ones, but some you know brown ones work as well. Any theme cupcake case you want, but I'm just gonna grab my 12 of these. And then I also have my five centimeter scoop, which again, I'll link below because I use this to evenly distribute the cupcake mix between all of the 12 cases. So they all bake evenly and it's super, super easy. And yeah. Why not? If you can make it easier, definitely give it a go. So now my cupcake mix is in the cases. I'm going to bake them in my preheated oven. I always bake my cupcakes at about 160 fan for about 20 to 22 minutes. In a regular oven, that's about 180. But if you find that your cupcakes dome quite a lot as you bake them, you can lower the temperature to 140 fan for about 35 to 40 minutes instead, and that will help bake them lower slower and flatter but either way personally my oven's good so 160 fan for me and then once they're done I'm going to leave them to cool fully in the tray. So now that my cupcakes have baked you can see that they're deliciously chocolatey they've baked nice and flat and we're ready to decorate and this is the bit where you know it's going to sound a little bit scary but I promise you it's not but we're going to make an Italian meringue. So to do this you have three simple ingredients of granulated sugar, egg whites and water and you sort of go, yeah, you know, egg whites, sugar, that's how you make meringue. But this one is like a safer one where because we're making the sort of the sugar syrup to make meringue, you boil it to 120 degrees. So I have my handy thermometer here to make sure it's at the right temperature. And when you're doing that and you sort of, you pour it into the egg whites, it makes it safe to eat raw, even though the egg whites are actually now cooked. So I prefer to decorate my cupcakes with this frosting because it makes it a lot easier. It's delicious, it's smooth, it's silky, and it seems like a bit of a process, but I promise you it's not. But I'm gonna start off by making my sugar syrup with the water and the sugar, dissolve the sugar ever so slightly in the low heat, and then bring that to the boil. When it's getting closer, maybe to about 110 degrees, I'm gonna pour my egg whites in, start whipping those to stiff peaks, so by the time this has reached the temperature, I'm going to slowly trickle it in and create the perfect Italian meringue. 
So I'm just gonna start by adding my granulated sugar to my heavy based pan. And then I'm gonna pour in just my water as well. Then I'm gonna turn this on to a low heat. So on this hob, it's about two. And I'm gonna lightly stir it just until the sugar granules has dissolved into the water. Now that my meringue is ready, you can see it's the perfect peak. It's smooth, it's delicious. And again, like it sounds complicated, but honestly it's easier than you think, especially if you have a thermometer. But either way, my meringue is now ready, so we're ready to decorate. I decorate these basically with one large round piping tip. So I'll link this below because I find it easier with a piping tip because if you just snip the end off the piping bag, it might have a weird crease in it as you pipe. I have large piping bags, large round piping tip, and the aim is to pipe one large dollop on the bottom, lift that off, and then do another little dollop on top to create our little ghosties. And then we're gonna decorate some eyes and a mouth in a minute with some melted chocolate. But honestly, trust the process and just have fun with this bit. At the end of the day, it's a ghost, so it doesn't matter if it's a little bit wonky. So to make the eyes and the mouth, I just have a little bit of some melted dark chocolate where I'm gonna snip a very small amount off the end and sort of dab two eyes and a mouth onto my meringue. But obviously this bit is optional. You can do what you want. You can use sprinkles, chocolate chips, but just again, have fun with it. So that is how you make my ghost cupcakes. Obviously the decoration of the chocolate, is just a nice little touch to make a little face on your little ghosty. But like I could say, you can use chocolate chips, you can use sprinkles, anything you want, or you can kind of leave it plain. It's entirely up to you. But these are just a fun, you know, cute little spooky treat for Halloween. So I hope you love these as much as I do. Honestly, they're so fun to make. I would just devour the frosting if I could. Honestly, the Italian meringue, it's heaven so either way make sure to check out the full recipe in the description box below i'll link everything i mentioned in the video as always if you have any comments leave them below as well and check out the full recipe on the blog post because there's a lot more information on there but i hope you come back next time for something utterly delicious as always enjoy <laughs>